hi everybody welcome back this lesson is about as your keyword as your keyword is a what it safeguards and manages our keys for cryptography certificates and secrets used by Azure applications and its services we can also store them in a central repository and we can secure uh, we can secure it and that's a repository for things like your passwords your secrets can be stored within that repository with the help of a uh, key vault we could create and control encryption keys used for encryption data for your storage accounts or maybe for your drives and we can also provision and manage deploy public and private SSL certificates for use with our internal connected resources and also we can integrate with ARM templates uh, whatever the ARM based template for example um, for example we are going to do a demo within this maybe the next third lesson from here or the second lesson what we will be doing is we will be creating a ARM template and we use the template to create a VM but normally within the ARM template we always try to give a uh, when we are trying to deploy we will supply the user ID and the password for the user creation but this time what we do is we create a secret uh, called the user ID and the user password within the Azure Key Vault services and uh, from there we will recall that specific secret when we are deploying ARM template that's what we are going to do it in the upcoming lecture for now let's talk about how best it's going to help us the Azure Key Vault and what are the problems it's going to solve the first one would be the secret management with the help of Azure Key Vault you can securely store and whatever the passwords or certificates or APIs and you can securely store them and you can integrate with other resources also and also for the key management um, issues also it will be solving like key vault can uh, be used for your key management solutions where key vault will make it easy to create and control the entire encryption keys uh, that are used within your encrypting your data let's say for your storage accounts or maybe for different data drives and the next feature would be definitely it's going to address for us the issues related to the certificate management for the certificate management it can store your TLS or SSL specific certificate informations and you can provision them you can manage or you can deploy it uh, for the connected with your inter uh, internally connected resources specific uh, you can manage with the help of as your key wall so that would be your central repository and also you can store not just the software we uh, so far we talked about the software now I'm talking about the hardware security modules let's say uh, if you are looking for if you have a hardware protected uh, secret key that also can be integrated here and you can use that as a second uh, validated HSM or different layers and let's talk about why we have to use as your keyword so there are a few of the bullet points which I have made the first one would be the earlier we tried to tell about different problems that we have discussed about for example secret management or key management or certificate management or even hardware security modules so all these are centrally uh, centrally can be stored and it can be managed so it's a central storage of your application secrets within Azure Key Vault which will allow you to control their distribution right and Key Vault um, greatly reduces the chances of the secrets that may be accidentally leaked within your teams or maybe somebody who left the organization right and when using key vault applications developer no longer need to store any of the security information uh, within their application so they simply have to give the resource ID of our key vault and that will actually query to the resource ID and then if you are looking for some of the secret names secret name uh, should be given and then it will query to that and it retrieves the password directly from the Azure Key Vault. So it's a fully automated. So that helps a lot for the developers and they no need to maintain these secrets in any other repository or maybe not in their applications. So there's a great example what we can take for the central application secrets. Now let's uh, talk about the securely store secrets and keys. So we talked about everything as a software. Here it actually supports your 
your industry standard algorithms that are based on your some kind of hardware security modules. So that's called HSM. Uh, it's a simple standard uh, hardware security modules, HSM. And these HSM are the federal processing standards that needs to be followed are some of the organization standards. If that's the case, this also supports the Azure Key Vault. And uh, this can fully integrate it with the hardware keys and that also integrates uh, internally with the Azure AD that um, where you can also control with the role based access control or with the key vault access policy. So it's it's easy uh, when we talk about the Azure key vault services. Finally, Azure key vault is fully designed that uh, where Microsoft doesn't see or what is there your exact secret data within your key vault. That's how Microsoft has designed. So let's move to the another point. So we talked about the software and hardware uh, hardware where we are storing some kind of secrets and keys and other things but let's talk about how we can actually monitor the things and who's using what or that can be also we can fully monitor and check it so once we have created a couple of these key vaults you want to monitor definitely how and when your keys are or the secrets are being accessed you can simply monitor activity by enabling your key walls so you can configure your key walls for archiving a storage account or stream to an event hub which we talked in within the as you monitoring section you can send even as your uh, logs to the as you monitoring logs so all that way you can actually monitor this as your key vault services. So let's also have a talk about this about the simplified administration of application secrets. So when we store uh, valuable data maybe in your application or maybe somewhere within the Azure key vault also you must take some uh, several steps within your uh, company or within your business process where you need to secure the entire information and then it must follow some kind of life cycle and must be highly available at the same time so as your key vault uh, is simplifies this entire process of meeting the requirements like let's take one example like it can removing the need of in-house knowledge of hardware security modules you don't need to understand about hsm modules it fully automates and scaling upon a short notice to meet your organization uses uh, where they wanted to you know just change the secret value whatever it in the application side no need to do any kind of uh, changes because key vault secret only got changed and the application will go and contact that a secret application name and the secret whatever it is there it will retrieve and also you can replicate this entire content of the as key vault within a region or to your secondary region so that your entire keys are uh, definitely highly available as we talked so you have the option for the regional and the secondary region and high availability all these options are available within the azure key vault services and also you can manage this azure key vault with the definitely from the azure portal as well as from the uh, cli and powershell 2. so automating different tasks also can be performed automatically uh, for example uh, with respect to the certificates uh, that you are purchasing for the public CAs, such as the NY, uh, such as the enrollment or renewal process, will be fully automated with the help of Azure Key Vault services. So these are the some of the key important points that we can talk about the Azure Key Vault, and I hope you got some idea about the Azure Key Vault services. And uh, I'm going to be uh, talk in the next lecture about a demo and later point we will straight jump into the demo thank you for watching this i'll catch you in the next lecture